Let's talk a little bit about hash functions. So we mentioned that the goal of a hash function is to spread our items out evenly. So for example, having the hash function only return zero would result in no spread, which is pretty bad. Everything's in one bucket. You basically just have a linked list. A bad example would be a hash function like returning the sum of the digits or the leading digit like we just saw. That would be bad spread because you get a lot of clustering, right? Just like uh, typical data is going to end up occupying only a relatively small number of the buckets. And then we see good spread, which would be, as we saw, returning num as our hash code. Okay? And the intuition there was that if the goal of a hash code is to take something and turn it into an integer, well, if we already have an integer, there's no need to do anything. That's another way of thinking about why the num is the right hash code. Okay. So that's the goal of the hash function. We want to get to having a nice spread. So what do you think about the spread of the default hash code, which returns just the memory addresses? What do you think? Should that be no spread, bad spread, or good spread? Okay, I'll tell you what I think in a sec. So I think the answer is it's a good spread. And the reason is that the memory address is basically a random number. So the item should be evenly distributed. Because when you create an object, it ends up somewhere in memory. And let's say you have five buckets. There's just as much a chance of it ending up at a memory address which ends in 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Okay? Uh, and so maybe that result relies on some information about memory addresses that you don't have. But if you think of it as a totally random thing, items should be evenly distributed. So this raises a really interesting question. If the default hash code gets good spread, then why do we need to even write a hash code? Why not always use the memory address? I'm not going to answer the question here, but I want you to think about it a little. And I have here a picture if you want to think about it. This is the distribution of items if I use the memory location. And sorry, my head's in the way and blocking one of the bins, but so it goes, or one of the buckets. You may think about this question if you'd like, and then we'll talk about the reasons why in the next couple of videos. All right. <laughs> here we go.